Okay. This time around, I'm not gonna run to the room with the go uh, with the scientist in it. Yes. Let's check these lockers. Maybe they have something useful on them. Aw, did you see the little maneuver we just did? We put the glasses up to our face like, wah. All right, don't fuck with the scientist. Don't fuck with the scientist. You saw nothing. <laughs> he didn't even have a chance. He was just like, he saw me, but I was already gone. All right, let's look at the layout of the map. Um, uh, confusing. Very confusing is what the layout of the map is. Wow. Okay. But at least this time around, we're not killing everybody, so that should make things a little bit nicer. Hello, God. Keep doing your job. Yes. Also, I'm smarter than you in every way. Yes. Because I'm a scientist. Yes. Uh, uh, at least back outside. Excuse me. Did you see that? I think I. Huh. Oh, no. I got the fucking HUD confused with the words on the wall. I thought the wall said the pain. But actually, I saw no paint at the top right of the screen. I'm a dumb. Okay. Hey, this works. I wonder how fast these things expire. I'm not sure if they expire, like, cause... It seems like maybe they'll really expire if maybe you didn't play the game for a couple of weeks or something. You know, that's what it's supposed to be for. But maybe, just maybe... If you play the game straight through, you don't have to worry about that. I don't know. Let's go upstairs. There seems to be a bunch of items to nab. I could definitely use a little bit of food that won't decay at all. Uh... But I could totally shoot people, if, even with a scientist outfit on. Your silly game. Oh! Instant noodles! Yeah! Okay, now I can eat the noodles if I really want to. Eat a fish. Not too bad. Yoink! And I will never need another food item for the rest of the game. Ooh, what is this? Oh, a book! Can I use the books right now? Let's see. Backpack. Nope, it'd be in weapons. Don't need a torch, that's for sure. I don't know what I'd use a TNT for. I think TNT is like just a replacement for C4 because we're a little bit further in the past. But maybe I could actually use it on things. Like the thing I got my TNT from. Uh, I don't want to go all that way, though. Oh, I can't use books! Even as a scientist. Oh well. I guess to be fair, when you're in a scientist outfit, it's not like these guys are suspicious of you anyways. So there's only legitimately like one go uh not one guard. One scientist that spots me. Uh I wish I'd gotten a warning telling me about that. Not just Not just oh the gods won't be able to recognize you. There's something in there. How the hell do I get it open? I could use TNT on it, <laughs> right? Hmm. Uh, maybe I won't try. Damn it, snake! There's an item in there. How you doing? Burns happen when you're engulfed in flames or get caught in an explosion. Oh. She didn't react to it. Burn, your max yeah, I got you. Where 
We're gonna capture the spider. That's all right. It's okay. We're just gonna dispose of one of these uh, these snakes. Was not bad. Was fairly tasty. Yeah, we're just gonna dispose of it. Enjoy. Tarantula. Mmm. So can you tell me about the tarantula now that I've actually captured it, rather than just killed it and captured it? To take a rest. I'll ah. No one wants to talk about the things I want to talk about. Like how I'm naked. Half naked. Careful ladies, avert your eyes. Men have nipples. What does it say? Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have expected to actually be able to read it. Ah, pressing triangle! Adjust your glasses, but only if it needs to be adjusted. Or that was just coincidental. I don't know. Oh God! What? What? Wow! Scientist Snake wanted to engulf himself with the locker door. We will combine to become one. I will be naked, Scientist Snake. Locker. Alright, we're going downstairs. Because it doesn't really seem to be all that much up here. Gorky Lab, B1 East. Ah, shit. That's one of those instances where the fucking camera changes and you get screwed over because of it. I didn't try to go upstairs. I held down to go down the stairs from this camera angle, but it actually changed, and so that was unfortunate. Um... Am I in an area where I'm allowed to be? Ah! What is that? Oh, SVD bullets. And M37 bullets. I don't need those. Hello? Mm -mm. Temptation to break out of camouflage and interrogate rising. Ah, oh, now he's got a friend. Greening spider. I am just investigating the area. I don't need SVD bullets. Actually, let me see. Yeah, I don't need SVD bullets. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> Life medicine and a vent. Oh, those clever bastards. They use the life medicine to draw my eye to this vent. I don't know how useful this vent is. Maybe I'm supposed to get captured? Didn't seem like it. Kinda got the shit shot out of me. Maybe I can find someone... ...from here? Or get access to one of the closed off... ...cells. Like this one. Not that there's anything in here for me to grab anyways. I'm so lost. Oh, come on. Did they really have to block it off? Now I gotta crawl all the way back. Alright, so we're going the, uh, direct way over to the right. Oh wait, no, we already did. There's nothing in this event for me! Nothing in the vent! Nothing at all, it ends off over here. Yep. Oh well, I got life medicine. I guess this is kind of a useful place to be if you're trying to hide from them. Hello? 
I was just investigating the cell. Ooh. Uh, hello. Harana Yabuki. Well. I guess that prisoner wasn't all that unlucky, right? Not interested in the frogs. At least not in a situation where they'd actually screw me over. Alright, so there wasn't much up here, or down here. Which means maybe I have to go through that double door that was kind of in that courtyard-like area. Oh, no, just a fucking stupid camera angle almost got me again. Yeah, huh. <laughs> Excuse me. Going this way. Oh. Was I seeing things? There was no double door here? Really? Crap. I could have sworn there was. What? Well, maybe this entrance will lead me to a different area of the other area. Right? Eh? Huh? Yep, this is a different place. I think. <laughs> Hi. You should go investigate the hallway. Eh, monsters there. Sig gas spray gun. Sig gas or er, gas spray gun disguised as a cigarette puts enemy to sleep. Ooh. Interesting. So I can use this. Maybe in disguise? Hey! Cool! Eh. Get away from me. I'm gonna test it out on you. <laughs> These are awesome! I can walk around in an unsuspicious way, and if need be, knock out people. Like this guy, shut up! What do we got in here? That chick looks familiar. Knockout handkerchief. Handkerchief with knockout medicine. Puts enemy to sleep in CQC. Oh. I'm guessing that's another tool I could use. And it wouldn't have any, uh... Wouldn't have any ammunition... Am ammunition. Ammu ammunition limitation. There we go. But I'm not worried about that. Not yet, at least. How many scientists are in this area? Ah, oh, jeez. Quite a bit, actually. Huh. 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 Shit. <laughs> Getting stuck on things. Huh. These rooms are kind of scary with all these fucking guards around here. Or scientists. Who- well, who are they to say that I'm not one of them, you know? Maybe I'm a new guy. Oh. Ah, uh. <laughs> he's playing Metal Gear Solid music. Whoa, whoa, was that Jeffy? If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. Put that thing away, you'll spoil my drink. So, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Uh, it, no. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. 
a man of some importance, if I do say so myself. Aww. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. Ah. You're crocked, aren't you? I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him. Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system. A bipedal tank. Metal gear? Metal gear? A bipedal tank. Rex? Yes, a walking tank, a robot. But Otacon made the designs, I guess. Are you guess. familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology oh, hey, look, the missing right. link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. Uh-huh. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear. Metal gear. Metal gear! <laughs> but I won't be used so easily. No, no crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes, Sokolov's pathetic shagohard pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. A tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But uh, I guess Metal Gear Rex is pretty cool. Joe Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? The philosopher's legacy. Haven't you heard of the philosophers? N no. The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Volgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, they somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohad project. 
Tomorrow they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they move Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagahot is there too? Of course. Hey! You're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. <laughs> you nice compliment? shoes. My shoes. <laughs> Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohard. I can do that. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. Oh, thank you. I mean, besides the fact you that you made Metal a Gear X. On your way here, didn't you? Uh huh. Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Uh. This key will open that door. Beyond that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Okay. I never looked at that door really because they looked Why are you locked. Helping me. Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. You must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! Capitalism! He drinks himself so hardcore that he's just constantly got like this wet patch underneath his fucking chin. Alright, let's get the hell out of here then. Oh, wait, wait. We gotta communicate with people. Ava, you back yet? No, she's still getting screwed over. Maybe even literally. Major, Sokolov's already been moved to the fortress. But that's only what Granin told you, right? He may have been giving you false info. No, he wasn't lying. How can you be so sure? Gut feeling. Good enough for me. <laughs> According to Granin, you should be able to get to the mountains through a passage located deep in the jungle beyond the warehouse. Right. Then if I climb the mountains, there'll be an underground tunnel leading to Groznygrad near the summit. Start out by going back to the warehouse. Use the key you got from Granin to open the door and proceed into the jungle. You remember where the door is, don't you? It's directly north of the door you went in when you came from the aqueduct. Alright. I wonder if I could have used my scientist disguise outside. I guess there's another one way to find out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No! You fucking asshole! No! Shit!
Fucking assholes, honestly. Close the door. Close the door, snake. Good. Damn it! But I need to hide in your area, man! You got cool ass statues of like awesome robots, including Jehuti from Zone of the Enders? Uh oh. You've lost the enemy. He must be hiding nearby. Hunt him down. Someone's in here. What's wrong? Jesus. <laughs> I like how they didn't notice the sleeping scientist until after they decided, oh, well, he must not be in there. Oh, God. We've got 80 seconds of sitting here hoping that no one finds out who I am. I can't believe they woke up so fast. But I guess the, the cutscene was pretty long. Ooh! He gave me some extra six spray bullets! Thanks, dude! Stop laughing, go back there. Come along! It's not like you guys had much to do anyways. All these are just a bunch of buttons. How's that useful? Yoink! Ah, ointment. If I ever get burned. Alright, let's get a move on. Okay, so these batteries definitely aren't getting increased. But, hey, oh well. Oh, you got out of the uh, locker, huh? Good for you. I don't need rations. Now, with that said, I do have, uh... Let's try one out. Sick. Really? Alright. Russian rations don't give me much. This is horrible. Tasted terrible. Oh. At least he gave me a good amount of stamina. I don't want to open the door. There could be a guy behind it, and that'd just be really bad for me. There. Oh. Everything will be okay. Rion, you know, for a Russian base, they sure have a lot of Japanese pinup girls. What, don't you have any of your own? Any, like, gray-haired ladies? Good. Jesus. I didn't do that, that's for sure. No, there's nothing suspicious about a scientist running across the base, like, three seconds after an alert has been cancelled. Eh, <laughs> Wink. Alright. Uh, should I go out the way I came? <gasps> no, we should leave the way that, uh... That was on the top floor, remember? Yeah. Although, now that we have the six spray, maybe I should knock out this guy. There's a lot of medicine in that room. Thank you! Mommy Yamasaki. Oh, that's... Ah, uh, hmm, interesting. Up to the top floor we go! Wasn't there some food for me there, too? No, I got it already. The calorie mate and two noodles. But if they want to respawn, I'm okay with that, too. Greetings. I gotta go, uh... Dramatically look over a balcony edge. <laughs> I 
Oh god, it's daytime. All right. Oh, it's time to get back into my normal outfit because I don't want to risk anything. And leaf. Or is it just because I'm near this? It is. Oh, look at that 90% though. Oh shit, what? No, you're supposed to be knocked out, buddy. Thank you. More stuff! I like extra items. Hmm, I wonder if I can go to that guy now. I mean, now that he's awake, I can try all over again. To get some information out of him. Though he might not have a lot of inf useful information. For anything that's away from this area. What's on my leg? Is that my knife? That's my knife. Okay, interesting. Come on. Spin around. I need to sneak up on you. Yeah. 